people tend to have a monolithic view of the homeless condition. They're not completely wrong. However, as much as we'd hate to admit it, we no longer see them as people. We go about our daily lives completely oblivious to their realities. When we come across one, we might give them whatever's left in change that's sitting in the car's console. Surely we're good people now. This is TJ Lavin. He's about as decent a human as I've really ever met. He's a BMX legend and TV personality who spends his free time actively trying to effect change through simple interactions and engagement. You've heard the saying, treat people like you want to be treated, right? Here's someone who isn't doing it for likes and social adoration. Here's someone who I feel is a personification of utopian principles, the dreams of those who saw the vision of a perfect world. I always had a soft spot for homeless people, but it was cool to, um, to actually just hang out and talk to them and like normal people. And that's not something a lot of people do. You right. Know? Like I, I've never heard of met anyone who's done that except you. So really, yeah. Wow, that's cool, that's, man. Yeah, that's and, cool. and that's something you do all the time, and you don't even no one even knows that, and that's cool. Later that evening, on our way to dinner, we met the very quiet George and the outspoken Yasin. They held up signs that said they were hungry. We convinced them to join us for dinner. You said they, they called the cops? I learned something unnerving about man's inhumanity toward fellow men. Yasin often spends his days locked in a small room with other beggars in the area as a result of the officials attempting to keep the area free of people in his situation and predicament. Uh -huh. Securities put you in a room yeah. until one o'clock at night. Yeah, we, the, I when you see the, the guy, the guy is begging. Yeah. You see the beggars. Yeah. Now sometimes he takes you away. Sometimes he take you and put you there. You see. Wow. They just pick you up and just throw you in the room, huh? Awesome. That's not like right. An like an anchor shell. Yeah, you know, instead of just giving you little change, like if you're hungry, maybe, yeah, get in the car. We take you out, you see, feed you. Because I just get this little chips also on the road, but you see. Chips? Mm -hmm. Nah, today you will eat, you will yeah. eat some real food. Thank you very much. I'll put that here. Make sure, make sure it's the best pizza you've ever made, yeah? Yeah, I went to Djibouti once. It wasn't no funny, I mean, it was like, whatever. Like, the, the actual, the base that I went to was cool, but it would feel like a prison after a while, I think. Namibia is nice, I've been there, I like that a lot. Big sand dune. Partying, boys. He was right there, man. Yeah. Like, he, that dude was, was right there. He was he's, aware. He's on he the was, cusp of being like, uh, back into the regular citizen, society. Right. He's really on the cusp. Like, he understands right from wrong. He gets it. So, mm. I don't know. Hopefully. You can, you can only hope. You never right? know, man. You never know. Like, one time, somebody picking him up like that, showing him the other side for a minute, maybe he's like, man, I want to get back to this. Yeah. You know, like I want to get back to, uh, he's never been to the waterfront, bro. You were here for yeah, three yeah. days and yeah. you've been there. You right. know what I mean? Like, yeah. like he's never been to the waterfront. So right. that kind of stuff. Probably felt, felt good to, yeah, to for be him, in to society. Hermanas, yeah. right. yeah, there's only one there's massage only place here. Right. I think that's the only one, actually. Yeah. I only rem it's there's only there's the one song. The song and the click song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a uh, uh, la 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 la. You know that one? You remember that? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna buy all that stuff for my daughter. Oh, we got a little synthesizer going, huh? Yeah. Okay. This is groundbreaking when it first came out. Are you are you positioned as well? Yes, sir. You are. Yes, sir. What do you pay? Wella, yeah, no, 
wela 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 mama wela la wela ma wela la wela ma wela 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 mama uh, yeah, it is it's really cool alone in the world. Well, that sucks. It sucks. Now you got a friend. Are you a good guy? Are you a good person? Michael. Yes. Are you a good person? Yeah, Michael Tunston. Michael Tunston. Cool. What do you do? No. I'm sleeping there, the big person. You're sleeping in the streets? Yeah, alone. Alone. Try to just do the right thing, you know? Sometimes the right thing is getting to work on time. Sometimes the right thing is biting monkeys. Sometimes the monkeys bite you. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Michael. <laughs> you know? Coke is nice. You like the Coke? I'll get you another one, bro. Just just eat eat your food, man. I don't want it to waste. I'll get you another one and then I'll get you one for the road. How's that? So you got three of them today. Before you know it, you'll be zipping around town. It's just surreal to wake up to this, to that landscape. Everyone's really friendly, everyone's really nice. But there are obviously things that you notice that seem unsettling. One of the weirdest things has been being served in restaurants, for example, by other black people. So I haven't seen a white person, you know, cleaning tables or, uh, or mopping the floor. Like all the people you see who own the houses around here, they're all the whites. That's where you realize the racism, all of it still exists. But here's one thing that I find interesting. Um, for example, if I said, you know, something flirty or something just sort of gratuitous to like a white girl, for example, like I get the weirdest stares. Like I get people just looking at me like, like, like I'm not supposed to say that. Like I'm not supposed to be friendly. I'm not supposed to be flirty which is unusual because like most places I've been, uh, like I don't even have to try. I mean, I'm not like, I'm not trying to make myself sound like good or, you know, sound like I'm like uh, God's gift to women or anything, but like in a lot of places I don't have to try because it's such a commodity because it's so uh, unusual to have like someone like me in their midst. Coming to Africa, like I feel like I'm just another person, you know, not even a desirable, person in a sense so like there's some way to feel about that but anyway let's go continue the adventure because uh, the day is just beginning uh, the sky is beautiful I hear the birds chirping um, and all that means is that there's some life to live so let's go live it so, so you said there's parking somewhere yeah, yeah around the corner I'll just show you let me show you the house oh yeah sure Hello, you need a ride? You need a ride? Come on, us. My oh, man. How you doing, brother? Hi, down there. Hi, donkey. The good, the 
a good customer for us. He's a sweet guy. He's generally a very nice guy, as well. You know, speaking to him, and then I've met his two friends, Dave and Danny, awesome guys as well. But he's like I said, he's part of the furniture now. You know, he comes in here, it's Ola, walks to the fridge, gets his own uh, water. Yeah, it's fun having him around. I actually thought about it this morning. When he leaves, we're going to miss him. Uh, C'est numéro one ici à Calidon. You must respect this guy. He's number one. <laughs> How can you say that? You are beautiful. So, um, African and I'm my, on my grandfather's side. Um, they, I'm Portuguese on my grandfather's side. And from my mother's side, I'm Corsa. So it's a whole mix of everything. The best time, baby. I knew it. <laughs> I could tell. As soon as I saw you, I said, that girl right there, she's something. Different people of different races and different creeds, different upbringings, ethnicity, and and no matter what, the the one thing that every person loves is when you tell them how pretty they are, or you tell them in a roundabout way. You don't have to be a creep about it. You don't have to right. be like, oh, you're hot. Right. You know what I mean? Nothing like that. It's just like, like, like that that lady up there. I was like, when you filled out the application, you know what I mean? It's where she was like following the story. Like, where is he going with this? Like, what is he talking about? You know what I mean? And when I came to the end, to the punchline, like, did you tell him how beautiful you were? And she's like, no, because I'm not beautiful. Right. And then you tell her, yeah, you are, honey. You're very beautiful. And then I pointed out three things that I already had on my mind before I even gave her the compliment. Like, when you had those dimples and like, she had high cheekbones. Right. And your perfect shape of your eyes. And she was like, yeah, maybe I am kind of beautiful. You know, by the end of the conversation, she was like, wow. Because you can pick out a hundred things on every person in the world, somewhere, somehow. So, that's what I decided to, to do. It's not flirting, it's not, trying to get in their pants. It's just being funny and being cool and being happy. I'm gonna need that smile. I'm gonna need that smile, Sylvia. Sylvia. <laughs> get in there. Monica, don't you dare. Don't you dare give me that mean mug. Give me that smile. Look at that smile. She's not into it, she's not smiling. <laughs> you can smile. There I see a smile. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, how much money does a gardener make here? One thirty-five a day. One thirty-five rand a day. Like stationery, yes. uniform, shoes, everything you see. Like, you know? Then you can do it. That's right. So for one week, you make 650 ish. 600 and something. For one week. It's very important for me to hear, like for me to ask you all these questions, and for you to tell me the truth so that I can hear so I can relay the information to people because sometimes people don't really get it, you know? So that's why I ask you so many questions and you answered all of them. So I have to pay for that kind of knowledge. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi, Donkey. Bye, Donkey. Here, 
a pick and pay. <laughs> and she is nervous because she says that she's too dirty to come and pick and pay. Can you believe this? <laughs> what the heck? Are you out of your mind? Sylvia. You? Yeah, okay, I'll help you get the groceries. So bad, babe. <laughs> so I'm staying here. I'm yeah? staying here. Where are you stay? Yes. Thank you. Bye, Sylvia. Bye, 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 bye. It's bye, nice bye. to meet you. Okay. 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 <laughs> bye. Thank you for answering all my questions. You're awesome. Thank you, Sylvia. Baby. Oh, oh see him. Oh. Thank you. Bye. Baby. Thank you for answering oh, all my see questions. Go see him. Go see him. Bye. Of course. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye, beautiful. Bye. 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 What we got to see I can't even believe that. inside. Just got to see everything. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> what do you think, Jess? I feel so bad for them. Why? Bye bye. Last time I came in here, yeah. Yep. Hit me like a ton of bricks, just like it did you. And she's like paying for her daughters to go to school. It's amazing. Jess, yeah. you went from like me not allowed to pick up people in the car with you in it to helping people. I love seeing the, you make the world a better place. So. Yeah. I've never, I've been doing like homeless re outreaches and, and meeting people and taking them to the bus stations and, and whatever. whatever all the time. And I've been doing that for about five years, maybe. And I've never met a bad person <laughs> that was that was like, 
not just down on their luck. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, dudes are just all down on their luck. That's all there is to it. Like, you give those dudes a chance, a for real chance, and you really, like, fix their teeth and get get them going because their teeth are all f***ed up from the drugs. Right. And then if you if you really give them a chance and give them, get them going, like, I don't know. I don't think they would... I don't think they would fail you. I think they could put, put it together, so... That's the next step, you know? Like you said, like, you're not solving the problem. Right. And there's no doubt about it. I'm not trying to solve the world's problems, but at the end of the day, maybe we could change the world for the better one person at a time. Yeah.